Hey. Welcome to the first episode of In A Nut Pod. I'm Melzy, and my guests today are Big Buff the Movie Buff, aka Josh. Shake well for maximum enjoyment. What the fuck? <laughs> and our animal expert, the bird nerd, Julia. Hey. Alright, that's that's the intro. Now we play the intro song, which I prepared earlier. In a nut pod, in a nut pod, in a nut pod. Yep, yep, here we go. In a nut pod. Yeah. It's the in a nut pod. Okay. In a nut pod. That's fine. Nut pod. That sucked. Ducks have penises shaped like a corkscrew so that uh, it doesn't get disconnected and they can have more babies. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's Julia the bird nerd, the bird nerd, here with lots of animal facts. They, wait, why do they have corkscrew cocks? <laughs> so it kind of like, like screws into the girl and then they don't get disconnected in it doesn't leak out. <laughs> that, that actually sounds pretty useful. Yeah, I guess. They're also all rapists. Ducks are rapists. Ducks are rapists. <laughs> I've seen ducks, like 35 boy ducks chasing one girl duck. It's like, can you not? And then they finally get to her and she gets drowned because they all try to have sex with her at once. It's <laughs> 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 <That's fucking depressing. laughs> Oh my goodness. Ducks are know. awful. <laughs> Ducks, are Ducks are actually so bad. Sexual predators. Everywhere they just come and kill you. I'm never going near. A, I'm never going near a pond again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want to get raped by any corkscrew cocks lying around. God, I don't know if all of them have it, but I know a few do. <laughs> Wait, only a few slick ducks have a corkscrew penis. Do you want me to Google it? Oh, you mean breeze? Okay, I thought you. <laughs> I don't even like every one in ten ducks is born with a corkscrew cock or something. <laughs> no, it doesn't really work that way. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> okay. It sounds like one of those Af- help Africa African children ads. <laughs> one in every one duck has a corkscrew penis. <laughs> Donate now. <laughs> you have to see a picture of it. It's the weirdest thing ever. Alright. Uh, uh... <laughs> I'm not sending you a link for you. That can... that your oh, one eight hundred corkscrew penis. That could be the thumbnail for this podcast. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Just the ducks corkscrew cock. <laughs> oh fucking hell! I thought you would find that interesting. No, it was. That was that was a good first fact. Actually, I like it. I'll try. Thank you. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Sam, are you a sponsor? Can you say hello? (laughs) (laughs) Did you hear that? We're going to talk about, in honour of the passing of Logan, the worst superpowers you could possibly have. Spoilers. Um, Spoilers. (laughs) For spoilers for those viewers listening, um, Wolverine also squirts milk from his... I don't want to hear uh, it. Um, I don't want to stop. I'm, I'm going to have to stop you right there. Uh, so, the Sorry. worst superpower ever. Okay. Um, How about that one X-Man that's only superpower is to make his skin turn invisible? And you can just see inside his body. That's literally his superpower. Wait, that's his what? mutation. Really? Yeah, he's a real guy. Um, I don't know if he's still around or he was like a thing in the 50s. Do you know this one, Josh? Do you know this guy? No. No oh, idea. Oh. I don't know, I read it in like oh. a list of the worst X-Men or something. You're, you're supposed yeah, to be big skin. buff. You're supposed to be big buff of the movie buff, but there you Sorry, go. Man. You've been outbuffed by Animal Lover. Winged winged wisdom, I like to call it. Winged wisdom. I think I was going for more like in like if you had to make one up, what would it be worth? Alright. Uh, wait, I've got a I've got a pretty good idea for a really dumb power, but it's kinda useful. Okay. You can grow hair at at will. <laughs> I would grow grass at will. That's all right, but how about that? You can grow hair at will. So if someone like pulls a. Well, that's, prank... what he, that's what he means, Julia. He said he grows hair. So you know, he, if he wants to grow a bush, he can grow a bush. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no, that was a really bad joke. I'm moving on from that. So if like someone Sorry. plays a prank on you, they like shave the back of your head. You know, like in Jackass, if you have ever seen that. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah. can just grow that patch back. <laughs> but at the same time, <laughs> it's like the dumbest power you could ever have. You could just grow hair. Any part of your body, sure, why not? Oh jeez. Okay, I think the dog just okay, a- okay, the okay, dog yeah. just attacked hey, the mic. <laughs> obviously, obviously, anyway, so like, not like 
didn't like the idea of hair, man, or woman. Well, imagine that. Julia just grows a full set of hair all over her body like a Sasquatch. <laughs> can or like, she oh, what's stop? that? Can she, like, oh, what about that hair disease? Have you seen in the Guinness Book of Records how they can grow? <laughs> that's like the really hairy man. Oh, that's a disease? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Disease. Yeah, yeah. These hormones just go the, stupid. The wolf oh, man. The wolf man or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's weird. You know, he's like, on all levels except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> it is called hypertrichosis. What I was thinking was, you can grow hair, but you can't, like, reduce hair. You have to shave it. So, so if you grew your hair... <laughs> I would do so it you, all to people with cancer. So if you, so if you covered yourself weird. in, like, a fluffy, like, <laughs> shell... <laughs> <laughs> then you'd have to shave your whole body. You wouldn't be able to just like retract the hair. But then you're like protected from sword attacks and shit. Yeah, but you yeah, but you'd look fucking ridiculous. You would look yeah, I mean, like, what if but... you grow? What if you grew too much? Like, because if you stopped a sword, you'd have to be like really thick. Yeah, and then you just have to roll hair. around everywhere, bounce everywhere. It'd be like a giant ball, <laughs> of like fur. rolling around of hair. <laughs> that's it, giant hair ball. All right, so that's mine, growing hair. So what's yours, Julia? Growing grass. Yep. Because then you could go out really fast and, like, make hay and get money. <laughs> Alright, well, and I can... But and it's still, and I can, it's still useless. I can sell my hair as wigs, like you said, to cancer patients. Yeah, yeah that's it's probably going to give you more money than hay, to be honest. <laughs> Do you have to, like, touch anything, like, dirt to no, grow I mean, it? Or can you produce it? it? Or you, you can look, look at it. No, you, she can grow, you no, look. she can grow already existing grass, I think, which is really kind of dumb. <laughs> 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 it's, like, useless. Yeah, I just, make, I just look at it and it gets bigger. Well, I guess if she had like a mortal what? enemy Excuse me? that was like, <laughs> like if she had a mortal enemy who was like, oh what's a, so funny? A <laughs> you look at it and it just gets bigger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, evidently, Julia's really thinking of something else. But anyway, um, no, Nathan started that. Yeah, so Josh, what you want? Your your power of the of the week, weakest is... power of the week. Power, oh, oh, that's good. Power of I the Week. W E A K. So there's a little play on words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power of the Week. The ability to produce Lego at will. But how is Lego. that useless? How. Just buy it. That is, no, that is the best power ever. I mean, I would love that. I love my Lego. You can, and you can just look at the, instruct, the, you can look at the instruction manuals online and then you can just make all the bits and then make your favourite Star Wars spacecraft. Yeah. And then if you had someone you hated, you could just literally spray oh, Lego at them and then they'd have to run. And when they tried to run away, they'd be stepping on Lego. Oh. And like, unless you took their shoes off beforehand, like, it would hurt. That's really like, like, like how get back. like little caltrops, yeah. <laughs> get him, yeah, get so like, so like, <laughs> what you need to do first is capture your villain, drug them, undress. Well, you don't have to undress them. What? Take the shoes off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. No, well, I was up. thinking it was just like I don't know. Someone you invite them over to your house and like, oh, you got to take your shoes off, and then you just spray logo on the floor, <laughs> and then they're like, shit, I can't get out of here. And you go, oh, let me just take you to the back of the house. You lock all the doors, and you just fill the whole house with Lego, and that's it. It's like, all right, you can, cu- you can come out now. They just take one step outside, like, oh, my God. I don't know if you guys have played and, Heavy Rain, but it's like when there's a part where you have to crawl through the vents, and it's just filled with glass. And he's like Ooh. stabbing yourself with glass. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Oh, except with Lego. Except more painful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, more painful with Lego. There was a kid who was killed with, with Lego, you know, like... He stepped on oh, it yeah. and went into his foot and the hard. plastic came from China yeah. and he caught a rare disease and he died. Yeah. <laughs> it's not impossible, actually. Well, there you go. It's not too far-fetched. There you go. See, no, it's I pretty think, far-fetched. I think, I think of the good stuff. All right, that's that's right. pretty good. Thank you for joining with us for Powers of the Week. Welcome to Weird News. What's in the news? Today's news: water that is pink is coming out of some sinks in Canada. Wait, Why? How? how? Let me look. I'm gonna for assume you, like bacteria or whatever. You're supposed to be the newsman. Did you even read the article? <laughs> no. I told you Wait. Like, I told you. Give me a minute. I told you. Give me a minute. Okay. 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 I told okay. You have to okay. All right. That. All right. All right. All right. Residents of a Canadian town have been shocked to find bright pink water coming out of their taps. 
Authorities in Onowa, Onowa, Alberta said the color was due to a faulty valve that allowed potassium permanganate. Permanganate. Pen- no, it's not going to ease at the end of it. It's a T-E at the end of it. Permanganate. Yeah. To of... get into the water supply. <laughs> what kind of fucking news reporter is this? Uh, Julia, you're a scientist. Uh, do you want to... <laughs> Apart from being a bird nerd, you're also a science freak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything witty. Um, <laughs> ge- geek freak. Uh, do you want to uh, tell us what that means, please? Um, well, I'm not entirely sure because I'm not a chemist, but I know that potassium can be used to make purple pigment. Like, every purple firework you ever see has potassium in it. So I assume that maybe it's been mixing with something else in the water and that's what's causing the, the dye effect. There you go. Potassium it's kind of weird that it comes pink. at the same time as the... The Melbourne Lake turned pink. You know, like Westgate Park, that lake there. No. Was like Hasn't bright that pink been at the pink moment. for years? It's been like this dull red color, but apparently right now it's like flamingo pink. It's like really. What about quiet. that pink, like pink lake? When you go to like Adelaide, there's like a pink lake on the way there. Yeah, there's one in like... Adelaide. There's one in um, Western Australia, but they're like with um, shrimps and bacteria and algae and stuff rather Wait, than I've... chemical leaks. <laughs> oh, you never know. Josh, have you? Oh, the have conspiracy. You... <laughs> Have you not seen the when you go to the Westgate Bridge the little pink ponds down below? Yeah, some are green, some are brown. Some yeah, 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 yeah. I see yeah, them. Yeah, talking, yeah. yeah, yeah apparently at the moment it's like the color of a strawberry milkshake. Wow, we. I'd love to. Can you up. drink it? Yeah, I'd love to. I was about to. Say, I'd love to take a little dip in that. <laughs> um, it take still a has dip a burnt in the strawberry out river. <laughs> wait, wait. Apparently you can't. Because experts say it can cause skin burns as well as yeah, throat geez. and abdominal pain. If it is swallowed. <laughs> well, you don't know. What's what's next to those lakes? The Herald Sun building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe <laughs> no, wonder it, no wonder it's oh, like I potassium see. getting all, into the... Dumping all the radioactive ink, ink in <laughs> yep. the hay. Oh, all the ink in the newspaper. Dumping all, the, <laughs> dumping all that conservatist crap right into the lake. That's where our Andrew Bolt lives in the swamp. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wait, this is supposed to be the news segment. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Back to the back, back to the pink water. Back to the highlights. Yes. Back to the high. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so um, Trevor Winfield noticed that the water in his toilet was bright pink oh earlier God. this week and filmed it filling up his sink. What What would your reaction be to pink water coming out of the tap? Uh, what the fuck? It's so weird, right? I don't know. I wouldn't I, even know what to do. I think it'd be weird. I I think it'd be like soap. We have invented did, someone, did someone put soap in my pipes? What's going on? <laughs> so, who put these soap in my pipes? Look outside and there's like this soap bandit and he's just like, Hey guys, that's some soap! And he just like runs away like the slippery scuttle buddy Back he is. Back to the highlights! <laughs> Back to the highlights! Back to the highlights! Uh, on the way's mayor, Dale... Krasnow said, we would never advise by Alberta environment to issue a public advisory, and all indications are that there was never a public health risk. Quotation marks. Could the town have done a better job of communicating what was going on to our community? Obviously, without a doubt. And we do apologise for that. (laughs) It sounds so forced. Like, that's a really shitty way to say, we fucked up, bye, sorry. Like, come on. Does any of our listeners live in Onwa? In which case... Congratulations. Um, congratulations you on your pink, pink water. Pink water and and water. if your skin burns, as well as your throat, and you do have an abdominal pain, then... You drink pink water. You drink pink water, and you'd probably need to see a doctor or at least a physiotherapist. Um... A physio? They could help. I don't know. Um, they'll probably just tell you... Some exercises to get that burn out of your system. <laughs> get, just get that burn. You know, like, if you when you exercise, you burn it, fat. Burn. So maybe the pink water is actually burning fat. Instead of, like, yeah. So if now, you... If back you... to the highlights <laughs> after that big joke. Back to the highlights. Back to the highlights. Oh, crap. Back to the highlights. Back to the highlights. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Wait right there. That's right. We got weights for your birds. You heard correctly. Wait for your birds. Your bird flies to the top of the cage, eats grains, and gets gains. Wait, wait, wait. What? 
Wait with birds! That's right, I'm a babysitter. I can wait you babysit your bird. Bird and a bird. No, that's not a bird, it's a babysitter. Wait, do you have babies? No, I don't care, I'm a babysitter. But what for? Birds, that's right. Waits for your birds. What's a wait? No one cares. But wait, you can wait if you get a babysitter that waits on waits. No, it doesn't, it's a babysitter. Whoa! What, what's that? Listen to you, motherfucker, you best have been at those highlights. I swear to God, I'll kick you off this fucking podcast. Okay, Josh, are so you even trying? Back to I'm the finding it. But Turtles named Bank has 915 coins removed from stomach in Thailand. <sighs> I read on. The 25-year-old female spent years swallowing the money thrown into a pool in a park in Thailand mm. by tourists. <laughs> <laughs> this, this news report is by Sunata Patel Carstairs. Um, <laughs> and is that how we just get into their cars? <laughs> probably. Um, anyway, yeah. the 25 year old female sea turtle called Omsen, nicknamed Bank, spent years swallowing the money, blah blah blah. The array of currencies eventually formed a heavy ball in her belly weighing 8 kilograms and eventually cracked her shell, causing a life-threatening infection. That's horrible. That's horrible. Wait till your turtles, we've got wait till your turtles. (laughs) (laughs) No. No. The turtle was found in the eastern town of Sriracha. It's like like Sriracha. A 3D (laughs) scan revealed... (laughs) Frank Sriracha. Anyway, a 3D scan revealed she had two fish hooks inside her, which were also removed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez, wait. Is Na- this- How is this turtle alive? She was, she was a tough one. God. Nantarika Chensu, head of Chulalongkorn's University's Veterinary Medical Aquatic Animal Research Center, said she was furious when she realized what was causing the turtle to be in so much pain. Mm-hmm. She says... Oh. Did she realize she said, once the shell cracked? Because it's pretty shit job. Probably, you know, if it long. breaks in half, if it breaks in half, it's oh, probably a good indicator that yeah, it's oh, like, something's you know, wrong. I can't believe something's that. wrong with the turtle. Why is it screaming? Anyway, God. in quotation marks, I felt angry that humans, whether or not they meant to do it or if they did it without thinking, had caused harm to Wait, this turtle. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me stop you right there. What do you think is happening there? Jumping in? Wait, is this a pond? Yeah. Yes, it well, is Are people jumping upon. in the pond to, like, force-feed the turtle, like, shoving coins <laughs> down its throat? Is that what she did? Like, oh, I don't know if they're doing it on purpose or if they just want a lucky wish. Uh, what's more likely? <laughs> it's probably more likely that the turtle was probably swimming and then ate just got coins. the coins. Yeah, not... He ate some coins, probably. Or maybe some homeless guy and <laughs> the money he gets <laughs> from the street, he just puts in a turtle's mouth for safekeeping. It's like a bank. A little fun <laughs> fact. Little, anyway, little fun fact about the green sea turtle, according to this news article. It can live up to 80 years and is listed as an endangered species by the International oh. Union for Conservation on, on. Oh, of excuse Nature. Me, excuse me, you are not the bird nerd. You don't get the right to animal facts. You're the, Apologies. <laughs> you're the movie. Wait, what is it? Nothing is happened. It? Continuing. Quotation marks. The belief is that throwing coins into the turtle pond will make the coin thrower live longer. I think Evidently, we'll kill, a turtle. A tur- kill a turtle yeah. at the same time. Said. Well, what did I say? Wrong. All, all life is borrowed. <laughs> all stolen. <laughs> Correct. From a turtle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, this quote was from Run Grodj Thunawanganevaj, Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary Science at Chilalongkorn something or other. Apparently. Throwing the coins is more bad karma because it is animal torture, as yep. he is, says. So, if any of you decide to go to Thailand and throw a coin into a pond, bear in mind that there may be a turtle there um, in the water. A little coin. bit peckish. Hungry, and he w- might like to eat your donations. Um... But probably don't, hurt her a lot. Yeah, but don't worry, don't worry. It won't really be in pain until its shell cracks and <laughs> they find out about it. And oh my god. 
reveal it to the community. So, you know, um, Do you... good luck. And uh, may God be with you. Um, next story. <laughs> uh, that's... And that was the news. <laughs> and that was the news. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the news. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hi, my name's Joe Howard. In 1867, when I was running for Prime Minister, I forgot my shoes and had to get out of the race. It was a sad time in my life, but thankfully, I discovered the one thing that was missing from my life. That's right, cat weights for any kind of cat. Sausage cats, moisture cats, rabbit cats, even mandarin cats. We have all weights for all kinds of cats. So come on my p- puss, I mean, prance on down to Willie Watson's cat weights. That's right. We got weights for all them cats, boys. Weights for birds, weights for birds. We got <laughs> weights for birds down here. We, your birds need some weights. Come down to Big Billy's Bird Paradise and get some weights for your birds. <laughs> Alright, go. Duck, corkscrew, cock, part two, action. <laughs> it's truly the bird nerd, the bird nerd. Here with lots of animal facts. So apparently, the lake duck in South America mm-hmm. has a penis that is just the same length as the animal is when it's erect. So it's like just as long as the duck. Wow. This is proportionally the biggest dick in the world. Wait. So, okay. so you just imagine if, like, every time you got turned on, it was the same size as you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on here. I wish I had a human-sized dick. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, man. Jesus. So, would you dress it? Would that be uncomfortable? I don't understand. The duck, I don't think it cares. Oh, what about like for the female? But it, it like coils it up, so it's oh, right. kind of like so compact. Really yeah, does the female, like, does the female have up. a corkscrew vagina? Yeah, she does. It would be like an inverted one, so it's squeezy. Sometimes they in, go like, in different like... directions. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes the girls have like... Fuck. It goes in the opposite way to just like stop them from getting raped. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. It's inverted, so you can't put it in. That's what I meant to say. That's yeah. It sounds like a keyhole or something. Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> I was making that up, but apparently so, it's real. Well, like, it ducks are weird anyway, because, like, most birds don't have penises. <laughs> okay. They just don't have them. I'm and actually, then ducks just randomly have them in the world. I'm going to actually look up duck penis, because I'm pretty curious right now. Dude, they're so weird. Oh, okay, I got a literal... Ah, oh, I see. This is funny. A duck corkscrew. See, that's funny, because that, their penises actually look like a corkscrew. <laughs> No, like actual, you know, like for opening wine, there's an actual duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's really funny because that's what their penis looks like, anyways. <laughs> it's just normal. Oh my god. That's Apparently, funny. echidna penises are quite interesting. Why are you just looking at echidna, all Yeah, they are. Echidnas, echidnas have really weird ones, too, actually. I think they're like double ones or something. Double. I don't know. What I the hell? Double whammy. Two, two echidnas with one stone. I know most, most reptiles do. <laughs> Nearly every snake has two dicks. Every snake has two dicks. So it's just this snakes animal. Yeah. Alright, it's just animal dick chat now. <laughs> <what's going> <laughs> oh, I got nothing wrong with that. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm trying to like get some pics, man. The, the, the more, echidna the more pe- dick pics, the better. The echidna oh. penis looks like a foot. I don't want to Google that. I typed in every Mainly snake has two have dicks. have a four-headed penis. So mm. I typed in every snake has two dicks. Then they came up with, life is short, but snakes are long. Why do snakes have two penises? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, this is weird. I can't believe you googled that, though. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, guys. it has, like, four, four heads on you it. You have to avoid visual jokes because it's a podcast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when you send a picture, it makes a noise through Skype. So. Well, I mean, this isn't, like, going anywhere. This is a practice one, isn't it? What are you talking about? I don't think this is Are you great. recording this? Yes! <laughs> oh no! I think animal dick chat's a great topic. This is the worst. Podcast episode one, animal dicks. <laughs> Jesus. What? Do you know elephants can use theirs as an extra leg? <laughs> <laughs> no, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, they just lean on it. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, fish leg. You know? <laughs> what do you need that for? I don't know, and like, wouldn't it get all dirty and gross? <laughs> no, but why would they need... They would need four legs, why do they need it? I don't know. If, like, I don't know. So if, like, I don't know, a poacher 
shoots off an elephant's leg or something, or they injure one, can they just use their penis <laughs> yeah. instead? That's what I'm exactly. picturing. So, you yeah. see, what happens? See, they have a backup plan. They get their leg cut off, <laughs> and then they run off with the dick. And instead of the other leg, <laughs> that's what's picturing like so it, like, the... it like angles out to the side and just has <laughs> acts as a new leg and it just <laughs> runs <laughs> runs yeah. with its penis as its fourth leg. Yeah, just more like a like a wooden like a stiff wooden leg like a peg leg. Yeah, yeah, like, like, a, like, <laughs> like a like like a pirate leg. like a pirate is like on the elephant dick. This is the worst. Okay, look, I have one last animal dick anecdote. Uh, uh, <laughs> the elephant dick. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> stop. I was reading this study the other day about, like, oxpecker birds. You know, like, the ones that sit on cows and, like, pick off bugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, apparently they also drink blood. So, like, this one cow thing, I don't know, it was like a wildebeest or something, it got a tick on its dick and like the ox picker came and pulled it off but it started bleeding so it started drinking the dick blood and then all of its oh. friends came and started drinking it and then it got all infected and the animal couldn't get an erection for like two weeks <laughs> and, it, and it was the middle of mating season oh no, <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh it was when I was to be continued. Study, dong, 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 dong. He's like, it's hard to imagine a more direct blow to an animal prospect. <laughs> <laughs> Fully sad about it. Oh, that's the saddest thing you've you know, ever heard. You know, you've, you know you've got good head when it starts to bleed, I tell you that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, well, there's three birds sitting on you it. You know, not everyone likes anchovies on their pizza, but when a dick starts to bleed, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's, that's it, what? right there. Okay, I think we're done with this conversation. And, you know, when I walk into Jesse's Pizza, I'm not like, don't give me that pizza with anchovies on it, just give me an elephant <laughs> dick bleeding, and I'm just, I'm right there, Do man. Do you have any elephant's dicks back there? Can you please slice it and let the blood drip on my pizza? Oh, slice it <laughs> like, off. Can you drizzle some elephant penis blood on my can pizza? Drip please? it all over me. <laughs> Bathe me in your penis blood. And that was Animal Dick Chat. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, uh, I'm here selling glue sticks in the glue emporium down the street. Uh, you come and get your glues. We got blue glues, red glues, green glues, and all kinds of glues. Don't miss out. Come now, buy one, get one glue free. See you here at the glue emporium. Come tomorrow, get a free glue. And I'll glue your glue glue in your face, you glue, and the glue and the boo. Catch you laters. Rainbow, glue, glue, glue. Who are you? Buy some glue. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap glue. Buy some glue. <laughs> Don't be a fool. <laughs> Don't be a fuel. Buy some glue. That was the podcast. In a nut pod. There we go. In a nut pod. No, no I was saying that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, can we just do an echo effect? So you say, that was the podcast, and I'll say, that was the podcast, and you say, in and up pod, and I say, in and up pod. That's so <laughs> yeah. lame. Nah, that's really bad. Uh, Alright, don't worry. Yeah, I'll just, it's really bad. I'll just cut that.